What is going on guys, Not Far From Gaming here, or Jacob, and we're back once again playing some more Clash Royale, and today guys, we're going to be going over a really good log bait, zap bait, new meta bait, whatever you guys want to call it, it's really good. Now, has anyone else been going up against these like Gollum Night Witch slash Gollum anything for that matter in Grand Challenges, because I feel like it went from the P.E.K.K.A. Night Witch uh, Battle Ram to more of like a Gollum beatdown, so it's kind of weird how that's working, but... I've been going up against them all the time, and I'm going to show you guys a replay of me beating one or or losing. I don't I don't want to give it away, uh, but let's go ahead and hop into that, and then we're going to hop into a few live matches. So we're going up against Screwy Fool. That's a name. Last video, we had Bratwurst. He should have stuck to Screwy Fool 3 because that is more original. So I'm going to go ahead and just set a princess at the bridge, and it was such good timing because he dropped his golem down, so he's going to have to defend... If anyone ever drops a golem down at the start of the match with no elixir pump, which is weird because this guy didn't have one, go ahead and rush the other side and take that tower out for free. Uh, but I did have the princess, so I mean, that's not going to take it out. He used his log right there. Big mistake. This is a log bait deck. What do you expect, man? I got tons of stuff you can log. Go ahead and log that. I got the goblin girl. I got the princess. Now, he does pretty well right here. That golem smash definitely um, did some work. The golem explosion took out all the skeletons. Very well played. He's going to send those fire spirits in, and he is basically going to take this tower all the way down to 581. We didn't give up on that tower, and that's good. You never give up on a tower unless it's, like, going to die completely, then just let it go. But I'm glad we stopped it there, so we're going to go ahead and hit him with a tricky barrel, guys. This is fantastic example of a tricky barrel, or whatever you guys want to call it. He's going to miss right there, and he knows he messed up. We're going to get that tower down extremely far, do a ton of damage to it, all the way down to 742. So, just like that, we're back in the game. He used a 8 Elixir Golem, plus a whole bunch of stuff behind it to get down to 581. We used a 3 Elixir Knight and a 3 Elixir Goblin Barrel to get it down to 742. I'll take that. So, we're actually going to take the lead right there with that Goblin, uh, Dark Goblin, and then we're going to Princess. I was debating on logging, but I didn't want to do it because that tower is down to 323. Might as well just make him waste elixir by dropping the goblin gang. He's not going to defend it. We're going to get it down pretty low, not take it out, but he's got a golem on the left side, and he's also got the bandit lumberjack in hand. He's got, I think he's going to go ahead and put the, there it is, the witch. Just the regular witch, though. I would have, he didn't have the night witch. Wait a second. Anyway, that golem right there is going to get shut down halfway to my tower, and it's going to get a little bit of explosion damage. That Dark Goblin's going to turn around and go ham on all those troops. I'm going to drop another one as well. Bandit's going to charge at one, almost at the second one, guys. We're going to drop the Princess. I said well played because that was a very well played log right there. That was that was a very, very, very well played log. But um, this is basically the end, guys. 30 seconds left. We're just going to pretty much defend. I'm going to drop the Knight right there so it can't take out the Tombstone with all the skeletons. So the Bandit couldn't hit the charge with the tower. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and throw another one, guys. Look at this. He drops the barrel in the back. He learned. I taught him a new trick, all right? Uh, he can thank me later, I guess. But 14 seconds left. We're really just still defending. Why push for another tower? Um, the only reason I sent that goblin barrel is just to put a little bit more pressure. But this is going to be the end of the battle, the end of the battle, guys. Three seconds left. Let's go ahead and hop into a live match. All right, guys. So we're going up against Conrad from Sakachuan. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and see what he's got. Now, if he drops a golem or a pump, I'm going to lightning or I'm going to rocket the pump. Now, okay, so he's going to go bowler. What if I had the rocket in my hand? I would have goofed so hard right there, but let's go ahead and get this log. Okay, not log worthy. Let's go ahead and dark goblin this. Should take it out. Maybe get one hit on the tower with those like the bats and stuff, but not the night witch. She ain't going to touch that tower. And we're going to get that dark goblin damage. You guys know how it is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and defend it with the Goblin Gang, and we'll put the Tombstone up right there. Oh, I placed that one bad. That Goblin Gang was bad. Holy cow. Uh, but it <laughs> that bowler's going to get distracted on one skeleton. And guys, we are going to defend that without a bowler throw or anything onto the tower. Guess he got a little bit of a lightning charge off right there. Let's go ahead and log this back. We'll go ahead and Dark Goblin, all that stuff. And okay, so he definitely just went overboard right there. So we're going to go like that, see what he's got. the tornado guys how big of a fool move was that oh my gosh and now he has like no elixir let's go ahead and use the goblin gang and he's probably gonna have to defend this with the bowler or night witch whatever he decides to drop unless he has uh the log that we haven't seen yet 
Looks like we're going to get this tower down to about 1,500, so looking okay right now, guys. Looking pretty good. I'm not sure what this deck is. Maybe, oh, Battle Ram, but I'm not really sure, like, if that's it or not. He might have Graveyard or something, but I'm not, not entirely sure yet. We'll figure it out, though. So he's going to go ahead and drop the bowler. I might rock it right here. I'm going to. Night Witch behind it. Ooh, man, if he dropped the Night Witch behind that, that would have been beautiful, but... That's all right. We still did pretty good. All right, so that is not good. The Executioner is a no-go. He's going to go ahead, and I'm glad he <laughs> he poisoned it right now because if he poisoned it later, that would not have been cool. Let's go ahead and go like this. We'll log this back. We'll put another one up right here. Oh, my Dark Goblin. Rest in peace. You did good. Uh, Princess is going to shut that down. Let's go ahead and go Goblin King right here. Oh, I dropped that. Oh, not bad, not bad. I'll take it. Uh, so let's see what we got here. We're going to have to go with a rocket right here. Oh boy. Move forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go with a goblin barrel there. We'll go like this. Like this. If you poisoned right here, that would not be good. But we're going to go knight. That tower got down to 691. Sorry guys, I'm not really talking. I'm really trying to concentrate here now. Try to hit that night witch or never mind. And the tower. I really wanted just the tower damage. I didn't really care about the Night Witch. See if we can take that out. Looks like we are not going to take that out. Let's go ahead and drop the Goblin Gang right there. We'll drop the Knight. Come on, get distracted. What are you doing? Take that out. Uh, I think four. Does it 493? I'm not really sure. He said well played. He knows we have it. We're going to log just in case. And... All right, that would have been very bad if that hit. I don't think that would have taken it out, but definitely got my heart pumping a little bit. Definitely got me going. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into one more. We're two and all right now. We're killing it. All right, guys, so finally a name that I can pronounce. Gabriel from... Convent... Okay, never mind. I lied a little bit. I'm sure that word is pronounceable for me. I just have to look at it for a second. But every time I try to look at it, they always drop a hog rider or something. So not going to try to look at it too in far into detail. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this right here. That was a bad drop. That was a bad drop. That was a bad drop. Woo! Saved. Let's go like that. We'll go Dark Goblin back here because it's got some range. Dark Goblin's got some range to him, which is great. He's going to fire. Is he going to fireball the Dark Goblin? I've seen it all, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, did he miss or did he not try to shoot it? Let's go ahead and uh, Goblin Barrel right there and... See what he's got. Is he got the log, the zap? All right, let's go ahead and put the princess. All about pressure, guys. Chip damage, pressure. You guys know how it is. Just like any other um, kind of like, I don't know why I call them clickbait decks, but like zap bait or like chip cycle. That's all you got to do. Just keep putting pressure. Keep putting pressure. That's all you really got to do to uh, win this. We got the rocket. We could do a few rockets here and there. Maybe if he drops something besides the giant in the back or something with the giant behind it, I'll go ahead and rock it. But as of right now, I think I'm going to leave it. We're going to go ahead and split the game because sometimes... All right, we're going to rocket it right now. Sometimes they just let it go if it's split, which is always good to get a little bit of chip damage there. We're not going to get much. Uh, please pull. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not healthy. That wasn't healthy at all. One of them didn't pull, obviously, as you guys saw, and he rushed with the Elite Barbs because... Elite Barbs, woo! You guys know how that is. I mean, they're Elite Barbs. Let's go ahead and try to trick him a little bit. Throw that Tricky Barrel. I know he has the Zap, but still, he could miss the Zap. Either way, it's not going to take it out. I'm not sure why he Zapped. That was a bad play by him. And now, we have the, this for... He can't Zap that for the, um, the Goblin Gang right there. And, oh, this is just... Oh, this is going great, guys. This is actually going good. Very, very good. All right, so he's going to try this again, this finesse let's go like this knight back here it's gonna all right you can go ahead and fireball that oh tower's gonna lock on right there i'll take that let's go like this he already used his zap a second ago yeah oh boy sorry oh my gosh that princess stay alive dang that would have been dope i don't know why i said dope uh that would have been sweet though we're gonna get that goblin barrel he's gonna waste his zap again guys we're so good at making him waste his zap that's that's all this is uh, you need the zap spell go ahead and make him use it, you know With the goblin gang, it's it's basically just like tricking your opponents making them use stuff they're they need for Defending or attacking. I just goblin barreled in my own base. We're gonna hit him with a good game drop the princess right here 
and I'm out. So here's the deck one more time guys if you miss it throughout the video and we've been doing this thing all week long where I put something on the screen if you guys have made it this far like last video was chicken nuggets this video it's gonna be Sacagawea alright I had to look that up to spell it so just know that I had to look that up okay but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and I will heart your comment if you comment Sacagawea and I'll even respond to but make sure you inspire me a little bit or send some motivation or some positive feedback that's all I ask for with the Sacagawea and that you could use it in a sentence like I went hiking yesterday with Sacagawea I mean anything it's all free game guys make be creative all right so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did hit that like button because it means a lot to me and also if you subscribe I really appreciate it other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.